Alright everyone, so if you're looking up to looking to change up your glasses the next time around, there's one little trick here. So for clip-ons, you've always heard of them. I'm sure the little springy thingies you stretch out, you throw them on, you get lost, break, fall apart, all that junk. Well, there's a different way to go about that. Of course, you can always have a custom clip made for a pair of glasses. But there's something a little bit different out there now. It's been around a couple years, but not many people are really familiar with it or how it works or even what all can really be done with it. You know, the sky's the limit with this, but what I'm talking about is chemistry clips. So what that amounts to, they embed little magnets, and you can actually see that here on these. Very unobtrusive, out of the way, just those little dots in either corner. But they embed that into this lens and then give you a couple clips one, two, however many you need, and you know, you've heard me talk about before, there's always different situations that different glasses are going to perform better than others. So this is kind of a way to work around that without needing multiple sets of glasses laying around. You can carry a little case of a bunch of these different clips in it. So what I've done with mine is actually just a couple different sunglasses. And on this first one is just kind of the standard gray polarized. But you can see it just pops on real easy and comes off that simple. The other one I've got is more my style, a little bit more fun out there. Just that red-orange mirror on a gray base. You get a nice little blue gradient to everything. Cools things down. Really good for out on the water. And of course I've got other videos that get more into the different uses of different sunglasses. But this is essentially just an easier way to be able to change up, do different things on the sunglasses, have different clips for different situations. So you can have a pair that's made for everyday use, and then we can take and throw on another clip for computer use, another one for when you're sitting just at your desk, not really doing anything else, different ad powers, different prescription even if needed. So there's just a lot of different ways to stack the effects of these. And in fact, speaking of stacking the effects, you get really crazy and just need all the darkness. That's the thing too. These actually stack. And yeah, I can't see anything. So let's not do that. But the really good thing here is because that's embedded in the lens, if something happens to the clip, you can get another one of these made. It's not nearly as expensive as another pair of glasses. But if your needs change, you can change out the clips and tweak things a little bit that way. So, say when you got your glasses a year ago or six months ago or whatever, you were outdoors all the time. You only needed the sunglasses, the distance use. Well, now you're sitting at a computer all day. You're not outdoors anymore. So, you can still have the clip for that, for the sunglasses, but now you can go in and add one for computer use. So if you need an ad power for the computer, you can put that in the clips right there. It can make it really nice for you, especially progressive wears. If you throw like a half diopter or an extra full diopter of ad power in front of the glasses with that clip on the progressive lens, that's gonna have a very similar effect to using an actual dedicated computer pair. So it's gonna reduce that having to bring your head up and get into the near zone and all that stuff. Now, obviously, it's not perfect. Now you do pick up a little bit extra reflection because of that separation and having two sets of lenses there. And there's no avoiding that. You know, it's not perfect. But it's all about compromises when it comes to stuff like this. You've got to find that level of compromise that fits your budget and what you need. And you can actually do it. So that's just another option to throw out there. So if you're interested in this, let me know because we can always make something work with that. Now, you do have to have new lenses made for this. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing that in an old set of lenses. So this is more for that next pair to give you a few more options, something to work with in that case. And of course, leave your comments, feedback. Let me know if you've ever had chemistry clips and how they held up for you, how they worked for you. I'd love to get some long-term feedback on these. It's kind of a new thing to me. I've not actually worn one before the last few days, but I've known they've been out there for a while. So definitely leave me some feedback on that. But otherwise, let me know what you'd like to see next. We'll definitely keep these videos churning. If you like the channel, give a like on this video. Definitely subscribe if you're interested in what we're talking about here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. See ya.